Why did you choose that insult? Why do you call people worms? And it's very, very clear to me, at least, why I call people worms. Worm is a pointless creature. The only reason a worm exists is so that bigger, more important animals can eat something. They don't do anything. They can't see. They sit in the dirt and they just move around in the dirt and they try and hide a little bit and then a bird eats them. And most people live their lives as worms. Most of you are worms. You don't do anything important. You're just living in your shit life, living your little dirt, just sitting there wriggling, hoping an eagle doesn't come along to fuck you up. And if an eagle did come along, you couldn't even defend yourself. A worm has no claws. It can't, hasn't even got, like a skunk can spray smelly piss or something. A worm has zero defensive mechanism. A worm is absolutely and utterly useless. I've never heard of a story of valor that involves a worm. People use animals as insults. They'll say you're a bitch, which is a female dog. I don't think a female dog is that insulting to be. I know female dogs. You can have a female police dog that will charge at bullets, or you can have a fire dog that will run in a burning building. What's so wrong about being a female dog? A dog can do something. Being a female worm would be much worse. Are there even female worms? Are worms so shit that they don't even have genders? I'm about to do research in the middle of a Tate speech for the first time in my life. Earthworms are hermaphrodites. This is what I mean. They don't have genders. If you're a worm, you're not even a man or a woman. You're just a worm. If I were to come and knock on your door and say, I've decided I have a sexual attraction to twos, so I'm taking your girlfriend. You could do very little about it because you're a worm. Ice in your face, it's freezing cold. And then when we are practicing on the harness, when you pull the harness, you just get the biggest wedgie in history and then you float in the cold for like 10 minutes, shivering. What's fun about that? Fucking cold. I don't like cold. I, don't want to like I, I wouldn't jump in a lake that's minus five. Fuck, I want to jump out of a plane that's minus five. It's fucking cold. And then I looked around the skydiving room. So I always thought people who jumped out of planes were like badass. Like I imagined the skydiving school would be full of like military types or dudes like me you know, like supreme specimens of man. But it was actually full of fucking geeks. I'm talking about 20 full grown men sitting around a TV screen, looking at videos of their last jump where they were doing patterns, discussing patterns. 20 full grown men look at a TV screen. Hey man, bro, look, yeah, bro, you, when you held his hand, you need to do the inverse flip and then all of them running and getting on skateboards. <laughs> and pretending they're doing their pack. Geeks, bruv. I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is wrong with people? There's no power in sushi. And I'm at the guy's house. I've actually known him for a long time. I've known him since school. And we're sitting there chilling. And I was there for about six hours. And he's like, yeah, it'd be nice one day. Anyway, I'm hungry. You want something to eat? I was like, no, nah, I'm fine, bro. So he gets his ass up. It's a full grown man. He starts to cook himself something to eat. And everybody knows the age old adage, time is what? Money. Money, that's right, time is money. You're gonna spend time preparing food. The last thing you should be doing with your time is cooking. I can't think of a lower ROI activity. Ooh, an onion, oh, let me get the onion. I'm gonna start cooking. Fridge, ooh, an onion, and some lettuce. Now, get my knife, get my knife, cut my onion, start to cut my onion. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Watching Gordon Ramsay, obviously. Eating fucking gummy bears because I'm the top G.